Hello my friends, I'm Mr. Milk Lover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Victoria 2, playing as a struggling America. So, a couple comments from yesterday, mostly because I constantly have rebels because people aren't getting their life needs, they're probably not getting a lot of their needs at all, they're, I don't have a lot of social spending, and stuff like that, yeah, it's true, but I need high taxes so I can pay things off, and also, I have disabled national stockpile purchases, even though the game says we're spending 11000 on that, I am making sure that I manually do not buy any more goods. It's literally all automated. I not I have no request to buy any more stuff. So really I'm thinking that they're buying all these goods for subsidies. That's what I'm thinking here. Because as you can see, everything is automated. I am not manually buying anything else here. So uh, the game is lying so that's weird hmm 11,000 for national stockpile purchases well I would say I'm not buying that uh, you know what Wow that is not look good I'm gonna fuse that too because we can cool we'll see what happens um so let's talk about Africa since this is a huge problem oh before we do that though we have this little state now someone also mentioned in the comments thank you though for letting me know that I can release them using the one of these decisions here return cores decision yes that I think that's exactly what we want we want to return cores Bolivia Brazil Colombia well I think I'll return cores to Peru or Bolivia Peru or Bolivia hmm Bolivia does like me more Their score looks pretty good. I don't want them to get too rebellious, so let's give them to give this to Bolivia. Unless, the, yeah, let's give it to Bolivia. There we go. Nice. Now that's going to free up a little bit of war exhaustion, which would be good. So now we are at this much, and we have two places blockaded over here. At this point, with Africa just releasing itself, I'd rather have them as a dominion under me than them being released manually. So let's just go ahead and just release some of these places. Let's see, state propaganda, state of emergency, of course. Uh, release nations. So, pretty much all of Africa is going to get released. Like, Tunisia is going to be lost. All of this is going to be lost. That's okay, except for Nigeria. We still have it under us, and we love them. So, we want to release Gabon, or the yeah, Gabon, Cameroon, Central African Republic. So, that this way, they're still under us. They're literally a dominion. And they'll still kind of like us. Um, Cameroon. Yeah, that's fine. Do that as well. You might as well do that. Yes, California. I don't, didn't think I'd ever have to end up having to do this, but that's okay. Namul. Madagascar's got a lot of people on it right now, so... Nigeria's okay. I love Nigeria. And you might as well release Tunisia. There we go. There we go. American Africa. Not too bad. What's up, you guys, over here? And they're with my army down here. Oh, there's an army up here. Very nice. Uh, yeah. Can't I? Cannot release to Algeria. They're not even our ally. How about over here? Mali. Hmm. Well, that sucks. Which still gives us more war exhaustion, but that's okay. Did you guys do that? And also, there's a crisis in the world going on right now, where everyone wants to beat me up. Hmm. Not cool. And my god, please. So the game is making me buy all this stuff. When I'm telling him no. I'm literally telling him no. Like, what the heck game? <laughs> I showed I showed you guys. 18,000? No. No. Don't buy all that stuff. Nope. You're gonna fight me for it, Britain. I don't care what happens. You're gonna fight me for it. And they want Haiti to be released, so... Mm, you can lower that maybe a little bit. Maybe you can lower that by a little bit. I don't know. Let's we'll see what happens. This might be the last episode in the campaign. I did lower tariffs too. So. And frankly, you know what? Why do I just raise tariffs to max? If they can't get their needs, people don't even want to trade with me anyways. There you go. We're making a little bit of money. And I don't know. I really don't know what the st national stockpile purchases are about at this point. It doesn't make any sense. I'm not sure if it's supposed to make any sense because it's making zero sense to me right now. Uh, go ahead and clear all that stuff up first. That'd be good. Well, hopefully our... Ooh, let's make sure we get our ships ready to go, too. Ah. Purchases way low. Way low. What? Why? Why? What's costing... Why? 
No! Cancel subsidies. Cancel subsidies for everyone and everything. 20,000. Yeah, I think the game is broke. Now, it might just be me not understanding the game, which is probably the most likely answer. But, uh... Yeah, no. Yeah. That's what I thought. Wait, so... They declared war on me, and then immediately pieced me out. Haitian freedom. Hmm. Well, at least we're not going to go to war right now. At least that's a good thing. Let's send you guys up here. Take down those guys. And just lose money for no reason. Literally no reason now. You know what? So be it. Go with that too, then. Just bankrupt me. Come on. They did almost nothing. Hmm. Alright, well, it could be worse. Elections? Well, let's move you down to half. Uh, I still need you guys on high for now, just because, uh... We still got some rubbles here and there. It's good to take him down. It's good to take him down. Cool, so we got rid of that thingy. We got rid of... Some of these guys that wanted to rebel. You still want to rebel, don't you? Do that. Okay, so I release you, and you still have rebels. Okay, well, whatever. Milton socialists. Alright, well, whatever. Primitives, but that's okay. Yeah, I really, I have no idea what to do here. Like, I could tax the hell out of everyone, but that's not going to solve any problems. Liberal Party rocked by scandal. Stock exchange? Well, that's good. That's good. But I, I can't get rid of this modifier. The national stockpile purchases, like... Um... I mean, we can buy stuff. That's no problem. Uh, let's see. Or, unless, I'm learning here. You buy that much? Confirm trade? Right there. Here? Buy less. Buy even less. There you go. Does that help? Interwar cavalry? It might help a little bit, actually. Pull you guys down here. Pull you guys way down there. Pull you guys way down there. No. Yeah, no. I cancel subsidies. I can't. I do a lot of things to lower my, the budget, but it's not doing very much. Good. Citizenship. Now they stopped rebelling as much because they did this, but eventually we're not gonna have enough money for that. But at least we're at peace. And I'm wondering. Let's see. If that's a case. Let's see. You guys did a great job. Come on back here. And good. Sending you to Africa up here. Oh, Algeria. I mean, they just keep taking stuff. What? You have even social stuff there. What the heck? Come on over here. We might be able to save this whole part. Oh, now we're making money? I swear to God, I really don't understand Victoria 2. But eh, if you guys do, let me know in the comments below. I could really use it, obviously. Really use it. I could really use your advice. I kind of wish this would already get released because this is sieging me down pretty harshly. I'm going to throw another army around here, too. But that's interesting that the UK decided not to go to war with me after we got all this done. That's quite interesting. You have enough ships? Uh, yeah, I got enough ships. Good. Send you to Africa as well. Come on to Tunis. And actually, isn't the UK still at war with the Germans? Yeah, they are. Huh. Good. Kill each other off. Because I'm not done with this campaign yet. No, 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 no. We ain't done yet. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. The draw to... Oh, God. 1924. That does not sound good. Oh, come on, guys. I'm literally giving you as many benefits as I possibly can. Mission to the Empire. Oh, we're justifying on Mexico. Are we? Yeah, I guess we are justifying on Mexico. Eh, screw it. We're going to go to war with them, then. They're allied with the UK, I think. Yep. That's okay. We'll beat them up. We'll find a way. We'll always find a way. Wow, that's a lot of guys. Oh, don't attack them. Oh, God, oh, God. That's not good. You guys, help help our new ally out, even though they're primitives. That's okay. Ooh, yeah, get some militant socialists there, too. That'd be good. That'd be good. Let's see, you guys. Wow, there's a lot of guys here. Trouble on Camaros. Um, I mean, I did free them, but... This is exactly what I was talking about. There's just too many rebels here. 
I mean, if you want subsidies, I'm going to tax the hell out of you so I can at least afford this. And now we become socialists once again. Hmm. Well, hey, we're making more money. That's kind of nice. Uh, I'm going to increase that too. Wave of colonial unrest. Whatever. Good job. Good job, guys. Go and attack them. Just kill them off. If you can. Yeah, kill them by the thousands. Of course not. And then I'm going to take out Algeria. I'm probably just going to straight up annex them if I can. Nope, I don't have a thingy with them. Don't even have a thingy. French Thaw. Ah, they were fascists before. They really don't like us. That's okay. Most people don't. Let's see. Ooh, expand the naval base. Hey, at least we're making money. We're making money, and this campaign is not done. Like I said, this is far from over. Far from over. Nice, we killed them all off there. Good. Second largest military will... We'll see about that. We will definitely see about that. So we need another armor piece. Probably. And infantry. Woo! I'm glad we never really had... What? What the heck? What the heck? Seriously, guys? And I do have a small cup of American coffee here. Very weird cup. Very weird cup. Uh, let's see. Which place has the most... Oh, wow. I really don't want to give you subsidies. I really don't. I really want to help you know, the people out, too, because they don't have jobs. Which makes sense why they're rebelling. So... Now I gotta save up money. Cool. At least we still have our allies. If I were to redo this campaign again, I'd probably attack Mexico quicker, or maybe take over some more Central or South American nations first. I think that's probably what I would do first if I was gonna do America again and be potentially prepared for billions of rebels. Billions of rebellions. Yes, go ahead and take this. Yeah, take him out. Take him out. Good. Don't let him get away with that. Good, 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 good. Hey, a couple divisions there. Look how progressive we are in America. We have released some African nations, and we're helping them build themselves up. What, What is more progressive than that? I don't know. I wouldn't know. <laughs> I really wouldn't know. Cool. Oh, there's a thing over here. I mean, they just keep rebelling, even though, you know, we're making a good amount of money. I will lower my tariffs, so. Uh, actually, yeah, let's go over that. Whee! Mm. Good. Tariffs are going, actually, pretty low now. That's pretty good. Oh, Mexico's got a lot of uh, rebellious issues. Everyone is a communist here, apparently. Huh. States, industries fail. Lose militancy, improve private incentives, reform the administration. Let's do that, I guess. That'd be fine. Good. Hey, we're done with that. Nice. Navy. We can do that one, I suppose. Alright, good. Arms are moving out. I'm gonna liberate this area. Do we have any war exhaustion? Yes, we're still at max. Mostly because all these places in the middle not the Middle East, but Africa here, are siege down. That's pretty much it. Hey! Yeah, we got some guy helping us there. That's nice. In a time like this, we're probably going to end up losing Madagascar. This is the exact reason why I wanted to release them, so this wouldn't happen, but, uh... Uncivilized folks still demand more benefits. You know, Vietnam, I mean, you know what? I'm glad I took over Vietnam. I'll be the first one to say it. I'm glad Americans own Vietnam, because they've been really, really peaceful. Oh, what's going on? Nepal. Black shirts. Oh, boy. Ooh, I mean, it can't get much worse with... Fascists aren't that popular in America. Like, 10%? That's not bad, I suppose, but... Still, it's only 10%. Good. Yeah, not too bad. Population of 109 million, which has gone down because, well, rebellions... Alright, so we seem to be at peace for now. Okay, we have another army coming along. That's good, good, good. 
even though they're all communists. I'd still rather have them than not have them. Cool. Now, let's build you back up because you look really, really terrible. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> uh, to make this just a little bit cheaper, throw on some artillery. Three, four, five. We need three more. And again, one, two. Well, three. Get another plane and go with. I don't see where we're at after that. Lafayette is dead. Suppress us now. We can lower the budget just a little bit more. Maybe lower taxes on the rich. Maybe not. Maybe not. I can't tax these people anymore. Uh, but hey, if everyone gets their benefits, I guess they're not going to rebel. Hmm, what a concept. You tax their money away and then give it back to them. What a concept. I'm still taking over Brazil and Algeria, so. Hey, now do we have any war exhaustion? Hold on, hold on. Now this, all these places are blockaded. That doesn't make any sense. Well, looks like I gotta take out Algeria then. Let's go to war with Mexico as fast as we possibly can, and then take out Algeria. It's good. Wow, that takes an insane amount of time. All this war exhaustion, ah. War exhaustion, international isolation. Can't, I wish Molly didn't release, or these guys. I would love to release them as a country right now. I don't think I can give them territory. Yeah, I can't give it to them. Hmm. Enable release vassals? Uh, not quite, not quite. Yep. That's garbage. That's complete garbage. Like, why can't I get to these territories through my puppet? That doesn't make any sense. If that's the case, just go and build up some forts here. We're not making a lot of money, but that's okay. That's totally okay with me. Uh, you guys head on home. Stay there. Thank you very much. These warrior people, they need to be given a medal. They fought long and hard, and they should be... They really deserve some more stuff. Infantry, good. Good. So, we're still... Oh, we're actually the most prestigious in the world. North Andean... Oh, boy. Um, I need another army. You guys come here. You guys will come down there. And do I have an army down here? I don't think I... No, oh, ships. I got some ships. Nice. If I have ships down here, I'm going to set you over here just in case we engage anyone over there. Hmm... There we go. <clears throat> oh wow, this this fleet's not looking very good. Whew. They definitely need more benefits. Alright, let's go with the main armaments. Alright, alright. Yep, we lost effects of the education system because everything else costs so much money. Can we actually... Let's see. Oh my goodness. Oh, being socialist that really doesn't make you want to go to war, I guess, too much. You know what, you can just stay down here. You guys stay right there as well, that's fine. Expand the port maybe a little bit. That's good. Everyone? Uh, yes, we will attend, even though everyone hates us in the world. That's okay. Well, I don't know why... Why did the Turks, or the Ottomans, really... They took that little tile there. From Yugoslavia? That looks really bad. This looks really bad. <laughs> oh, my goodness. But American Africa still could be worse. Could be much, much worse. Ah, and now we lost all his money. Black shirts. I guess. We chose the other option last time. Good. And that doesn't really help us that much. Yeah, we can still do our naval stuff, which is okay. Go and do that. Nice. Um, I guess we're missing a ship here. That's okay. I can build up some more, I suppose, even though it costs us a lot of money. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, nah, not a battleship. There you go. And there you go. We're gonna lose money, we might as well lose all of it. Mobilize the reserves, uh-oh. 
Okay, so the UK is being very, very aggressive. Oh, so I guess it white pieced out maybe with the Germans? I guess. Huh. Oh wow, they're fifth in the world for military. You guys are first, yeah. That really sucks. Ooh. Back in first. Oh wow, I'm out I'm I can't afford this. Uh, we have to raise taxes, unfortunately, and lower spending on everything else. Yeah, I can't afford this. Uh, what do these people want? Socialism again? You know, that's what they always cry for, either that or communism. Is max social spending not good enough for these people? Like, are you kidding me? Tensions? Assert our position? Yeah, infamy is just a random number to me right now. Uh, I already gave you pretty much everything. Good school systems, rehabilitation, good healthcare, pensions, safety regulations, generous subsidies, work hours, minimum wage. I know you guys are unemployed, but that's why we give you social spending. I mean, you can op try to open it up as much as you possibly can, but I don't have the money for it. No one has the money for it, so. Oh! And you thought I did that poorly. Oh, oh, look at that flag. Well then, I guess we're not going to see a Soviet Union, but we have a fascist Russia, everyone. A fascist Russia. That is definitely different. Definitely different. That is a little wild, not going to lie. Wait, how are you occupied? Are you kidding me? Again? I'm really getting t sick and tired of socialists here. They're very annoying. And I'm sorry, I can't afford just opening everything up. There's only so much money in the world, people. Only so much money in the world. There you go, you can have that. Uh, Ohio's still the number one place with all this stuff. That's not really worth it. Just, we can destroy factories, that's not bad. Seriously, commies? Seriously. How many men do we have? Uh, our population went by 4 million, so still not too bad. I mean, they can keep rising up and rebelling, but they're all going to die in the end. I mean, this is ridiculous. This is really ridiculous. But I'm not giving up on this campaign, because I want to see what happens when this goes away. Less prestige, diplomatic points, militancy, import costs. International... I don't see... Actually, it was this one. Yeah. Hmm... Yeah. I mean, yeah, just keep rebelling, because that's going to solve all sorts of issues, guys. That's going to solve all the issues in the world. Oh, at least we have the Olympic Games. This is kind of nice to distract us from all this stuff right going on in the world right now. Oh, look at all this crud. Look at all that. Mmm. Guess come over there. Uh, can I build up an army over in Cuba anymore? We need some planes. That would be nice. Let's get some planes. Maybe grab another infantry. And maybe grab another infantry. And then... Eh, grab one of those. Because you can. We shall rebuild. Africa. Still looking good. Still looking good over here. If anything, I would probably, in this universe, I'd probably end up living in Vietnam. Because it's so peaceful over there. Mostly because we have people putting down rebels all the time. Alright, you guys can hang out. Pretty good, pretty good. You're a queen. No, 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 no. I didn't take out loans. No, 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 no. You don't like high taxes? Well, then you don't get social spending. That's how that's how it works here. You want education? You want all this stuff? That's how it works here. It's not like I'm even spending that much money on uh, the military anyways. Let's see. How much is it land units? 46%. Spend on land units. Construction. Hmm. Construction. I want to lower this if we can. Maybe that'll help out a little bit. Maybe, maybe not. Alright, number one. Oh, Alaska's got... Oh. 
Oopsie, I just deleted that. Uh, give me that fuel. I'll gladly take the fuel, though. That'd be good. Give me the fuel. Labor unions. Uh, no. There you go. Ooh, North Carolina, you're not looking good. I need planes. I definitely need planes. Industry, we're still third. We're still third. We put down all the rebellions, and now we have... A lot of communist sympathizers. Let's see. Four artillery. Four artillery. Let's just go with reg four regular artillery. Two, three, four. Four artillery. And then five infantry. I'm going to make them loyal Yankees. One, two, three, four. Well, and uh, Dixie soldiers. They'll never rebel. Costa Rican. I really need to take this group out. Czechoslovakian Hungarian War. My goodness, trying to go to war takes forever. Alright. Let's see. You guys have been making more soldiers, maybe? No? Okay. Okay. Well, whatever. Alright. And we're finishing up our research as fast as we can. Oh, got some more morale. Oh, these are communists in Paraguay. It looks like all around the world. I mean, they're just getting so many socialist rebellions. Which really makes no sense. Even when I give you, like, we do all the reforms. We do everything that we possibly can to help everyone. Oh. <clears throat> hey, even German socialists. Wow, they just straight up annexed Austria. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Cuban nationalists. Sorry, Cuba, but not today. Durango? Uh, we can do the dyes. I don't mind the dyes. Kentucky, Jalisco, Veracruz. Hmm. Battleship pull. Still looking good on money. Cost me a lot of money to do that. If we need to expand factory, so be it an excellent initiative, sure. Looking not too bad. Come on, just get to war with Mexico so I can go to war with those African states. That's what's killing my war exhaustion right now. Ah, <laughs> oh, gotta love it. Alright, so if we're making that much money, I'm lowering taxes on these guys. That should help the capitalists want to spend more money on actually building stuff up here. This little regiment. Yeah, I'll go and do that. That's fine. And next up, you guys are not it. You guys are it. We're still building up Jacobin rebels. Wow. Not bad, not bad. Could be worse, but I'm glad that... I'm sort of glad this is actually happening. Just so that if this ever happens again, I know exactly kind of what to do. Uh, sure, Dutch folk. Your great power and your liberal party. I mean, that's okay. Um, the world is definitely... Even though we're a mess, the world is still getting really, really messy. Oh, the Japanese-Russian War of Honor. Italian War to the Dutch Empire. Um, okay. And now we're losing money at the Wazoo. Well, it's not, it could be worse. National Stock Law Purchases. Romania. Yugoslavia. Did Spain take anything from here? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Uh, nope. I'm not getting involved. Like, son, I can't get involved with anything right now. Elections? Well, I mean, that's okay. Uh, Guiana? Sure. That's fine with... Oh, boy. Me. Suppress us now. Put you on a boat, and come over here. Sure, Molly. Sure. Just what you wanted. Industrial subsidies. 
No, some of these are still okay. Mexican Menace. Uh, sure, France. Sure. Craftsman. Ooh, that's good. that costs us half a million to do that. New York, expand if you can for now. Patriots are going to fight for a country. Very good, very good. And... Well, over time, the deficit should be going down. Hey, we're second in the world for military score. It's 1928. Italian war to dismantle the Dutch Empire. Wow. Italy, force the Netherlands to dismantle the Empire. Uh, I want to grab more prestige. That sounds kind of nice. Hey, at least the Netherlands kind of like us. Even though they're going to be dismantled. Again with the rebellions. We need three more guys. Um, come on, just I think. Oh, that's nice. That's very good. Let's see, Chicago, and then Pika, Chicago, Porto Prince. You guys can both go over there. That's fine. No, not that one we want. This one. One more. Well, our population now is 109 million. So it's going it's going between 106 and 110. Every time there's a rebellion, then people die. A boatload of bananas? It's a bonanza. Good. Good. International crisis. <clears throat> No, I'm good. I really don't want to get involved in affairs right now. Nope. That's not going to... Yep. Fail to enlist. That's fine with me. Alright. Rookie Men's Party still in power. That's fine. Mission to Mexico. Okay. Over that just by a little bit more. Panamanians. Increase taxes just by a little bit. Just a little bit. Not very much. Not very much. Definitely need another army down there. Let's see. Take you guys come over here. Wow, you guys are really experienced at putting down your own people. Come on down here. So we can build up another army. Add them here. That'll be good. Very good. And the last tech for this. Ah, there's the Vietnamese. Finally, they start rebelling against my rule. Oh, wow. Whole, you think we're doing bad. At least we can mostly put down the, our rebels, but the Russians, the fascist Russians, are fighting the Jap, uh, brown J Japanese. Uh, they are conservative. Hey, we still got a Nobel Peace Prize. We're still the most prestigious country in the world. Empire of Mission Mexico... You guys can also do this too. Blow them up, feed them, you know, the good stuff. Laos, anything there? Still losing a little bit of money. So be it. Incident. And I will see you guys in just a little bit. Alright, sorry about that, my friends, but regardless, let us continue putting down more Americans. If there are more rebellious Americans, if not, very good. Uh, we have. Wow. This looks like one really defeated army here. Holy cow. Uh, I'll let you guys come over here and we'll build you back up next. Trouble in Tunisia. We'll do what we can. We'll do what we can. We're still losing some money, but yeah, what else is new? You guys. Oh, man. Even you guys are not looking very good. Oh. Make sure we keep them with us. Uh, I'll probably just keep you here, just in case. That's probably the best thing we could do here. Uh, you, need, you need a few more ships. A few more cruisers, actually. Suppress this. Good. Losing a lot of money, but you know what else is new? What else is new? Go ahead, put him down. That time go on. It is 1929, so we'll see what happens. Ooh, Mexican Patriots. Well, we can. That's very nice. That's very nice. And the Canadians are coming down to help me. I'm glad we took out the Canadians to be with us. What a great bunch of people. Ah, love it. Cool. Uh, are we not building any other divisions around here? Ah, uh, it was a Mexican one that we wanted. So, 
Instead, we're going to grab another infantry. Dixie Guard. Build them up because we got plenty of other people to build up. Rebellion and Tunis. Let them go. Yeah, no. No. Wait. Oh, we have troops inside the board. Okay, let's get them out. And then put them down. And here we will go. You know, I even said, like, I'll let you go, or you can be my puppet. As long as you don't rebel, and you still rebel against me, so... Oh, well. Uh, we could start a pro propaganda campaign, huh? Let's see. Start a propaganda campaign. I'm not going to read this. If you would like to read this, go right ahead. Um, let's see. So what happens? Got a lot of things going on. We lose a little plurality, we, get, we gain a lot of money. Okay. The president's speech in this grave hour, perhaps the most faithful in our history, I send to every household for my peoples, both at home and overseas. This message spoken with the same depth of feeling for each one of you as I were able to cross your threshold and speak to you myself. It is for, for a high purpose that I now call my people at home and my peoples across the seas who will make our cause their own. I ask them to stand calm and firm in the United in this time of trial. The American president delivered an impassioned speech today in D.C. Just the start of a campaign to gather support among the population and the government for the goal of... Drum up, drum up support for the war, less war exemption, more infamy, or boost the government's popularity. Ruling party support, less political awareness. Um, for two years, become more socialist. Hmm. I want less war exhaustion. That's really what I want. But that's probably the worst. Probably the worst one we could have chosen. Probably. Uh, since we're over here, we might as well send you guys as well. And I'm not really about the communists, and they're always going to rise up and rebel. So, good, come over there. Got a little bit more money because of that, which is actually very nice. Uh, the natives are restless. Talk about change. Yep, whatever. And we have you still being made. Oh no, from here. Ah, they're almost done. Good. Good. Deserte, Gabes. Good. Come on, let's please let's just go to war with Mexico. For the love of God, please. It takes forever to go there. Italians are still at war. All right. We're, oh my God, it's only 54 percent. Yeah, we might even get get there by the end of the game. This is terrible. Yeah, I, I'm frankly, to be honest with you, that type of war exhaustion is just too much. That whole international isolation, it doesn't make any sense since America was completely pretty isolationist, especially after, before World War One, a little after World War One. so it really makes no sense. Uh, I'm going to put you guys down here anyways. So that, I would say that definitely needs to be looked at, just uh, tweaked a little bit. Just a little bit. Cool. And they're back to being our puppet. Good. As they should be. Hey, wh why do you go down by... Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I just... I'm still going to see this campaign to the end, but that's... I don't even know what Vicky2 is doing anymore, but let's go get behavioralism. Alright, good. Good. Hanging out, putting down some more commies. Good, you are done, which is... Good. Put you in DC. Now we're going to build you back up. So you have three infantry, that's all you got. Three infantry. So we're going to need... Four infantry, so we have four infantry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, three infantry. So really four infantry. We need six. One, two. There we go. Now that should be good. You guys are actually looking okay yourselves. You guys are looking pretty weak. What do we have here? I mean I really don't want to raise taxes on anyone. It's gonna hurt everyone in the long run. National stockpile purchases. For what? I mean, it's just for the military, I suppose, but even then. People rebel, and then what do they get? They get nothing out of this. Let's see. Let's look at the population, actually. Unemployment? Well, what do you want me to do? 
I mean, they can complain as much as they want. They're not going to get anything out of this. I mean, I... Uh, subsidies are at max. Unemployment's at max. Even though we're not spending that much. Pensions are what's eating everything up. If anything, you blame the people getting pensions. Oof. Subsidies are very low. Less than a thousand? Yeah, screw the pensions. What about that? Uh, well, looks like I'm going to raise tariffs again. Because we need money. It is what it is. Virginia? I mean, I'd love to, you know, do more of this stuff here, but... Uh, there's really not. I really can't do it. Because people keep rebelling, so I can't get enough money, and they don't want to work. Even though they, they want to work, but they can't. It is one big old mess. One gigantic mess. Oh, American Venezuela. Wait, hold on. Hold on. God dang it, Colombia became a great power. They broke free of our rule. Uh, you know the world's messed up when Colombia is now a great power. And I made sure I wasn't building in their lands whatsoever. Oh my goodness. What happened to the world? Ever since I went down the tube, Sweden's a great power? Colombia? So, France isn't. Russia's fascist. The Treaty of Amsterdam. Oh god. Yeah, well, there goes the Dutch. Hungarian fascists? Oh my goodness. That is... Wow. That's a lot of red. Not gonna lie, that's a lot of red. Alright, suppress this now. So be it. It's 1930. Which means tomorrow's episode... I don't remember exactly when Victoria 2 ends. It might be in 1936. It might be 1933. So... I don't exactly remember. Search high, search low. You know what, piss off the, the socialists again. You might as well. There's no point to not piss them off at this point. Just let them die. Butcher them then. Because I'm trying to help them out as much as I can, but... Mm. There you go. Craftsman, maybe we can help out them out in Virginia, maybe a little bit. Hire more people, perhaps. Maybe. Oh yeah, open that one up. In Texas, that's good. The last unemployed people. Currently, we have a population of 110 million. Okay, not bad, not bad. I mean, I'm trying to help all the people as much as I can, but if they keep rebelling. Very much I can do. Fall back. Oh, I'm gonna assert my position. Wait, 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 hold on. Hold okay, so the Germans are still. They're not even. The they're second place. Okay, so that makes sense. At first, I thought the Germans were secondary power. I'm like, whoa! Alright, so the Netherlands is still there. They're not gonna be feeling very good for very long. I'm friendly with those folks. Fascist Russia. The Mexican. Well, that's, that's good. I don't think I can change my party. Now, Silver Legion. Hmm, 10% fascism. Uh, who's that now? Haitian nationalists? Well, what else is new? Uh, what else do you expect? Wow, that's a lot of guys. Uh, where's that? Oh my goodness. That's not good. Uh, guys, you could probably deal with them. That'd be good. Alright. This is probably a really bad idea. No, stop it. Good. Good, good, good. Well, at least we get getting more prestige. We're still the most prestigious country in the world, even though we've, like, we put down mil literally millions of our own countrymen. Eh, you know, things happen. Let's see. Infantry still being made. That's good. Gonna need a couple more guards. Alright. See if we can spend any more money on our own folks here. So the craftsmen are... Well, they're doing a little better here. Do that, do that. Give them some subsidies. And Hispaniola. Do that too. Help them out as much as we can. That'd be good. 
I open up factories and they're still rebelling. Let's see, suppress this. Oh, we actually beat him up? Nice. Nice, but anyways, this video's gone on long enough. I guess probably tomorrow will be the last video in this campaign, probably, I think. But regardless, uh, if you have any solutions for me to improve my situation besides trying to spend money and improving factories and stuff like that, let me know in the comments below. If, but if you liked the video, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll catch you all tomorrow as we try to put down all these rebellions and have a good time doing so. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.